Bonjour. Bonjour. Uh, hello, uh, Mr. Speaker. My question is uh, to the Premier. Uh, why did the government drop reconciliation from uh, the mandate of the Ministry of uh, Indigenous Affairs? Uh, and what is behind the decision to have the minister share his time between Northern Affairs, Mining, Energy, and Indigenous Affairs? Premier, minister of Indigenous Affairs. Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and miigwech uh, to the member. I congratulate him on winning a region of northwestern Ontario that's near and dear to my heart, as I had served it in my former capacity as the member of parliament for the Great Kenora Riding and spent several years there working as a nurse and a lawyer uh, in those communities. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, we ran a campaign that reflected the needs for all Ontarians, and we appreciate that Truth and Reconciliation represents a dark chapter in Canada's history. Moving forward, Mr. Speaker, we intend as a government to honour the principles of truth and reconciliation, but focus, Mr. Speaker, on the things that Indigenous communities are asking for, a piece of the prosperity that all Ontarians have come to expect in their communities. And moving forward, whether it's resource revenue sharing, Mr. Speaker, for municipalities and Indigenous communities in this province, but particularly in Northern Ontario, we're going to make sure that those Indigenous communities have access to the kind of prosperity that we all expect from a government. Supplementary question. Thank you uh, again, uh, Saul Mamakwa from uh, Kiwetnuk uh, Riding. Uh, Speaker, uh, First Nations are uh, concerned about the government's step uh, backward away from reconciliation. Nishinaabaski Nation uh, Grand Chief Alvin Fiddler said, it is difficult to see how progress can continue to be made when First Nations are reduced to only uh, on how they relate to the government's ability to access the resources within our lands. During the campaign, uh, the Premier uh, famously said he would get on a bulldozer himself to get the Ring of Fire underway. And he also said that he would stop talking and start doing. But from the, from the perspective of First Nations, uh, the only way you can start doing anything in uh, their territories and our territories is to start talking to our territories. Speaker, how does the Premier propose to do this with a part-time minister? Thank you. <laughs> minister? Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I can assure the member opposite that there's nothing part-time about the devotion and the skill that I bring to this portfolio. This ministry stands, this ministry stands alone with a minister who has spent more than eight years of his life living and working in Indigenous communities, mostly in northwestern Ontario, but in fact across Canada, Mr. Speaker. I have a keen sense and great relationships with Indigenous leaders. Some of these folks are some of my closest friends across the region, Mr. Speaker. We're going to ensure that First Nations have prosperity. The member mentioned Ring of Fire. Those communities are doing more than just talking. They're working with the private sector, Mr. Speaker, creating economic opportunities and creating creating jobs for those isolated and remote communities. It's high time, Mr. Speaker, and we're going to deliver on those promises for prosperity for Indigenous communities. Thank you. Thank you.